This dresser has a cool little secret. Before we get to that though, I unscrewed the knobs and poles, cleaned it all with crud cutter, like I always do. And then I scuff sanded the entire surface by hand with 220 grit sandpaper. I must have done this project before I bought my surf prep sander. That's the sander that you see in almost every other one of my videos now. Then I vacuumed up the dust and check this out. Have you ever seen a secret compartment inside a dresser like this? It hides between the top two drawers and is just attached with like a hinge. So it can twist all the way out and you can put some secret little things in there. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so after all the dust was cleaned up, we took the dresser out to the garage and I sprayed it with two coats of clear shellac. Shellac is really strong, so it's really best to just spray it outside. I like to let it dry at least overnight before I paint over it, but it dries within a few minutes usually. So after it was dried to the touch, I taped off the drawers with tape and plastic so I wouldn't get any paint inside the drawers and so I can leave the drawers in when I spray. The next day, I put the paint into my paint sprayer. I used Country Chic Paint's Peacoat Blue Color and mixed it with some water to thin it out. Then out in the garage, we hung up some plastic and put the dresser on some five gallon buckets. I put on my respirator and then I sprayed two coats of paint, letting it dry to the touch between coats. I absolutely love how fast chalk paint dries. So it dries pretty quick and after the second coat of paint, I noticed some dings that needed filled. So I filled those in and sanded them smooth. Then I opened the drawers and sprayed the top and the sides of the drawer fronts with two coats of paint. Then I cleaned out my paint sprayer. The biggest bummer about chalk paint is that it needs a clear top coat. So while the sprayer dried out, I mixed some semi-gloss water-based top coat and I mixed it really good to get it all mixed together really well. The mixing part is super, super important when using water-based poly. Trust me, mix it well. I added a little bit of water to it and then I cleaned off the dresser with a tack cloth to make sure there wasn't any dust on my fresh paint. And then I sprayed a coat of polyurethane and I let it dry. At this point, it all felt kind of rough, so I sanded it with 400 grit sandpaper to make the finish feel smooth. Then I cleaned off all of the dust and I sprayed two more coats of polyurethane. For a fun twist, I put new leather poles and gold knobs on, and here is what it looks like now. This one sold so fast, and it went into a teen boy's room. What do you think of the new look? Let me know in the comments.